Hey planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. It is time to set up our budget for January. Um, new year, new budget planners, lots of newness going on. And it has taken me forever to get it together to film this video because I feel disorganized, <laughs> even with all my planners. That's crazy to me. But um, anyway, so if you have not watched my 2021 budget planner series. I'm going to link um, the first video below. It is part of a playlist, so you should be able to see all of the videos. I believe there's seven, maybe eight of them. And um, I have had a few people asking me about the stickers that I used for the budget planner series, which I'll show you in just a second how I have that set up in my um, seven by nine. Um, I've had requests for the petite planner. I have started working on them, but I don't have everything available yet. So, um, I've got the 21 in 2021 available in the blue and the pink. I've got the goals available in the blue and the pink. I have the debt tracker available in the blue and the pink. I've got the sinking funds available in the blue and the pink. And I've got the um, budget income and expenses available. Um, I'm still working on the other things. And hopefully they will be finished this week. Um, so here's what a few things look like inside of my petite planner. We've got our goals and our 21 things to do in 2021. And um, I also laid down the sinking funds. So this is in the back half. I'm changing the way I do my petite planner. So I used the same planner in 2020 and I used four pages per month in the back. So each month would have the budget, expenses, cash envelopes, and sinking funds, debt tracker, and spending tracker. Um, I'm not using all of those pages, so what I decided to do was consolidate down to just the budget with income and expenses, cash envelopes, and sinking funds. Um, because I use my Budget Mom workbook to track expenses, and I've got my 7 by 9 planner set up in a way that really works for me. So that gave me some extra pages to allow me to um, set up these other things in the back of the planner. Now, I'm not really sure that I'm going to use it. Um, mainly, I set it up to take pictures and list the items on Etsy, keeping it real, because I don't know that I want that redundant information. I like redundant information because I have three budget planners, but I don't know that I need that um, set up there as well. I really want to keep track of it here in the 7x9. So, um, and then real quick, I did this black and white and gray. So I'm going to be doing my January in my new life planner um, and setting up my winter bucket list and also my 21 things to do in 2021 in there. And I think I may list this if I get, get enough interest. I may list these two um, as well. So I got that. So this is my new 2021 budget planner in the seven by nine size. This is an Erin Condren monthly planner. I have January set up and ready to go. Before we jump into January, I will flip through real quick to show you the back. So I have my um, notes pages. I added 40 pages, which is 20 sheets of paper. I recommend 80 because then you have um, 80 pages, 40 sheets. And I was really, um, having to maneuver to have enough room. So my first page is going to be a vision board and inspirational quotes and things like that. And uh, my word of the year is brave. So I've got some word of the year stickers in here as well. I also want to be intentional with my money. So you'll see the intentional sticker. I've got goals. Then I'm going to list out 21 things to do in 2021 related to finances and money here. I've got my income and expenses, and there you see the intentional sticker. I've got my business budget and taxes, and here I added a simplify sticker because I need to simplify business-related things. Got my emergency fund and a visual tracker, my sinking funds and a visual tracker, and then savings and a visual tracker, 
and then I want to have a debt-free Christmas. So when I start tracking that, I've got a visual. Um, I'm looking for just the right <laughs> vacation savings visual tracker. Then I have my debt tracker and a visual. Um, and then I have trackers for each of the debts that I'm looking to pay off. So there's various credit cards and loans that are here. And then car loan. And then we have some tax debt. And then I have my net worth. And then I have a couple of extra pages that I plan to use as well. So for January, um, I have set up at the very front of my planner the um, Budget Moms 2021 Savings Challenges. And so I can keep track each month of how much I have saved. And then I've got my month at a glance like I do every month with bill due stickers laid down and the uh, various bills written out. And I like to look here to see what I need to pay each week. Although I do pay a lot of things right up front at the beginning of the month because I'm paid once a month. Um, but this is a good place for me to make sure if I haven't checked it off and there's a good chance I haven't paid it. So I come here. I've got um, this month's Budget Mom um, Savings Challenge. This is what I've done for this dashboard page, and I'm not done with it yet. I've got my income, my expenses, cash envelopes, sinking funds, debt tracker, spending tracker, and then the cash envelope check-in for groceries, eating out, household and gas, and business expenses. I think I may remove spending tracker because, again, I'm keeping track of what I spend in the Budget Mom workbook. So... I don't know that I need it. Um, I don't. I don't typically use this page, basically. So, so for um, this month, first thing I want to do is set some goals. And so the first goal, and if you're curious, I am using a Kokuyo Me gel pen. Um, today it just was writing amazing, and so now today it's my favorite pen. Um, earlier today, the Sarasa Dry Air Fit Grip was my favorite, and it still is, but this Kokuyo is speaking to me today. So, my goals for this month are, um, 1,000 in uh, Etsy sales, and, um, track expenses, and no credit cards um, and we're going to complete two savings challenges and we are going to roll over extra um, money that's left in the cash envelopes toward debt or savings so those are my five goals for the month. Um, once I have saved at the end of the month, I will add in down here what I saved. Okay, so that is that. Let me see. I'll show you. Budget Mom, I've been watching videos because I don't use this whole system um, the way that I want to. I want to use it in its entirety, but I've been sort of working up to that because I know that I need to take baby steps on it. Um, so I needed to get into the habit of really writing down those expenses. I think, you know, for the last two months, three months, I've been doing that and I'm there. So um, the calendar is set, sort of set up the same way. And as just as you see on this calendar, I've got some items highlighted there in green. So that's my savings challenge um, and the amount that I need to um, save each week based on the word that I selected. And each letter of the alphabet has a corresponding dollar amount. I'm also going to do a savings challenge um, that I shared in my savings video Um called Weather Wednesday, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. So the Weather Wednesday challenge was where you take the high temperature of the day and you save that amount. I'm going to take the low temperature of the day because 
doing both of these, that would be a lot of money for me to save coming out of my budget that I really need to be putting towards debt. So um, our lows are anywhere between the high 30s, low 40s. Um, if I took the, the high, I'd be in like the 60s every week and I just don't have um, you know, close to $300 to put towards savings this month. Cause I have some bills I need to pay, take care of this month. So that is what I plan to do for the two savings challenges this month. The weather Wednesday, taking the low temperature on Wednesday, depositing that, um, money into, um, either a savings account or into a savings envelope, and then taking the word that I selected. So it's a five letter word. The word I selected is brave, which is my word of the year. And so when I save, um, with the word of the year, or not, well, not the word of the year, the word I selected, I should save a total of, I think $48. Yeah. So, um, that is that plan. Okay, so for um, the Budget Mom workbook, so I've got the calendar here with the bills listed. We've got some notes pages that I'm not sure how I'm going to use just yet or if I will even use them. And then we've got our um, paycheck bill tracker. So this is the income and expenses. Um, all of the expenses are still the same for the most part. My, my, my expenses, and we talk about fixed and variable, for the most part, they don't fluctuate. So it's the same bills that I have every month, the utilities, the gas, the um, electric, the credit cards, um, more credit cards, more credit cards. I am contemplating um, canceling some subscriptions although I saw a sneak of the Simply Gilded subscription box for January today and I can't cancel it even though the price is going up but I may cancel it after today so um I made like a list of things that I was looking at canceling cloth and papers already come out for the month but I think um beginning in February I'm gonna cancel cloth and papers sub box um I have a um, live richer subscription that is $10 a month. I think I'm going to cancel that. I did reduce my silhouette, um, studio down from $7.99 to $3.99. I can't cancel it. I need it because this is how I make stickers. Um, I'm probably going to cancel Amazon prime before it renews, which will save me 14 a month and um, create a sinking fund and then maybe renew annually. I went without Amazon Prime for a year and a half, so I'm not like dying to have it. I just want to stock up on stuff before I cancel it. Um, I had to double what I was paying for Instant Ink though, so that went from 1076 to 2046, and I'm definitely using that benefit, so um, no savings there. So um, that is that what I'm going to do. So the budget mom workbook is a paycheck bill tracker. So you track from paycheck to paycheck. I'm paid once per month. So I don't need this page is, um, got your paycheck that comes in the bills you pay with that paycheck, your cash envelopes and your sinking funds. And then You've got these pages of what you're putting towards extra debt, extra savings, and the cash denomination breakdown for your cash envelopes. I use the teller slips, um, and I'm good. This would probably help me do it quicker, but I'm good. So what I'm going to do is glue these together because I don't need this page. And then it repeats itself as far as... Um, for your next paycheck. Now, I can't fit everything here. So I do use the next one, even though it's all still coming from the same paycheck. I do not budget in, per se, Etsy money, because Etsy money is not guaranteed. So, um, you know, I have an estimate of what I'd like to, to earn, but I may earn zero. And so I'm really budgeting for all of my bills to be paid with my paycheck at the beginning of the month. Um, so that is that. 
I also, it's again a repeat, so you've got cash envelopes and sinking funds here. I've already listed all of that here on this page, so I'm not going to do it again here. Um, and so this is again a repeat with your cash envelope breakdown. Now I did make um, a spot here for rollover cash envelopes because I'm watching the Budget Mom videos and really trying to understand the system so that I can use it to its full potential. And she was talking about making sure you add something into your money at the beginning of the month. So I, I need to go back and watch again and take notes. So I'm also going to glue this page together because I don't need it. Okay, so then um, I'll come back to that when I figure out what I'm doing with it. And then I just paper clip the rest of them together. So you, I think you have enough for five paychecks. I don't need all of those. Then we go into our expenses. So this is where I'm tracking my expenses. I've been doing this. You've seen in my previous videos in the, I had the printable. So the big eight and a half by 11 size. Um, I was doing all of my expenses together. And one of the things that I noticed in the budget mom videos is that she does her cash envelopes and her checking account separate. So that's what I'm going to do this month. Um, cause I think it'll be easier for me to maybe balance everything. So I'm going to do cash envelopes. I think one page will be sufficient and this is one all the way across one page. So your date, account, transaction, category, withdrawal or deposit and ending balance. And then I'm starting here. I'm going to put my, um, checking. And so I'm starting with 4480 for the month. And I gave myself, I think, two pages for this, three pages for this, which I think is more than enough. And then I am putting all of Afterpay and Klarna in its own spot. It's all debt, so it makes it very easy to add it up that way. And then um, I've got one extra page after that. And then at the end of the month, um, there is a debt payment plan, which there are not nearly enough. Now, I wish I had another one of these pages for people with too much debt like me. Um, there's not nearly enough spaces here, but you can put in your total debts, extra debt payments, and then calculate how much, um, your, your monthly progress is. So how much went to debt, your overall debt progress, and then you have a place here to do your net worth tracker. I probably will not do this. I probably will skip this page. Then um, at the end of the month, you take your budget breakdown by category and you look at where your money went. So I've shown this in the past, like how much of my budget, let's say it was $200 for groceries. Um, how much uh, did I actually spend? Maybe I spent exactly 200, maybe I spent 180. And then what, you know, so you figure out what the difference is and then how much of that, what percentage of that is your income. So like groceries, as an example um, of my, it's like 5% of my income, it's fairly low. And then you can look at um, your monthly debt and savings. So this is a page I have not been using that I wanna start using along with the debt progress page. The other thing that I've been using that I um, really like is comparing the current month to the previous month. So I've written down everything that I spent in December and I don't know why I didn't put in the percentages um, but I put down what I spent in December and then at the end of January I will write down what I spent in January and compare December to January and look at what was the change or the the difference there are some things that are exactly the same for example my insurance is going to be exactly the same so the change will be zero but maybe i spent more in groceries um, last month than i'll spend this month so like for example this month i allocated 180 last month i allocated 200 so i expect to spend less this month for groceries and then you've got another notes page. And then at the end here, there's the cash envelope teller slips, which again, I have this notepad of them. So like for a lifetime. So I, I won't be using these. So that is the Budget Mom um, boxed set workbook. Every month is in its own little tri-fold book like this. And um, this is January. So I am... 
um, going to go through my cash envelopes. And um, for me, my cash envelopes and my sinking funds are kind of overlapping. And that's just like the, the only way I can make it work in my mind. Because I have cash envelopes for items that are sinking funds. For example, um, two new ones that I'm setting up are to cover my P.O. box and to cover my Sam's Club membership. I'm going to, it's a sinking fund. I'm going to save a little bit every month, but I'm putting it in a cash envelope um, rather than in the bank. Now, there are other things like, um, for example, car maintenance. I'm saving $25 in cash for car maintenance and I'm putting it in an envelope. It's a sinking fund. I'm putting it in an envelope. But at some point, I'm going to deposit that money into the bank. I did not do it like, you know, on payday transfer over $25 because I don't do that. I just don't do it. I can't explain it. I don't know what it is or why. I just don't do it. And then it never happens and the money doesn't get saved. So... I figured if I took the cash out, even though it's an extra step and it's nonsense and laborious unnecessarily, I think that that is what is going to work for me. And so I got to try and see if that works out better for me rather than it never happening at all and the money not being saved. So cash envelopes for this month are as follows. Um, and I printed out a whole bunch of um, cash envelopes on cardstock. And so um, we're going to fill these up. Side note, okay, for um, two things. Last month I had $60 in gas money left over. And so I am going to, I still haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with it. I, I think I figured it out and wrote it down, but I don't know where I wrote it down. So I don't know. I think I, I was saying 20 to emergency, 20 to um, debt, and 20 to something else. But I don't remember what it was. So when I figure it out, I'll come back and tell y'all in the next video. So that there's that. Um, then I had... Um, five dollar bills from my grocery envelope. So I have twenty dollars in fives, and those are going. I decided my five dollar bills going forward are now going towards vacation. Hopefully, one day we get to go on one again. So I let's see. I hope I made a vacation envelope. Okay, we're going to call this a vacation envelope. So I made myself some stickers. So this will be my vacation envelope. I'm going to put these $5 bills in here. And this is another one where, you know, when I get so many $5 bills, I will um, deposit it into a bank account. So... Um, those will go in there. Then we are, and I actually got a five as change, so I'm going to put that in there as well. And we'll just add that on. I'm telling y'all this pin is the business today. Okay, so cash envelopes are listed here. So we're going to start with groceries. And um, for groceries, we're doing 180. So 20, 40, 60, 80. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So 180 is going to groceries. And all right, so 
So I'm going to use this one for groceries. My total for my sinking funds this month, sinking funds slash cash envelopes, was $500, which is a lot for me. But that includes these items that are cash envelopes slash sinking funds um, that I hadn't previously been doing. So there's that. Um, okay, so I have... Zero going to fun. We can't have fun. We got to get out of debt. So we're gonna, just going to sit our little fun envelope aside. We have Sam's Club is getting Now, I made myself a note. Um, I have $10. I don't know. It's one of, this is why I don't, I've got to figure it out. Um, okay, dining out is getting $50. Cash envelopes are from the Budget Moms website, and she often sends out freebie printables. Um, every Friday, there's a Friday freebie. It's not always cash envelopes, but she does different trackers. Um, one was really nice sinking funds tracker, so um, subscribe to the website and you can get those. Okay, so I have one here for savings challenge. I'm not putting anything in here um, today. But when I do, actually, um, I'm going to come back to that because I may have some dollars left over that I stick in there. Oh, that's what I was going to do with that other $20. Thanks for coming to my crazy talk today. Okay, so the $60 from the gas, I'm putting in $20 for, this is my January word savings challenge. So the $20, so I had the $60 left from the gas. I'm going to put, I'm going to minus, I'm not minusing, I'm adding. I'm going to add in 20 and that will cover um, my first two weeks, which is the first and the eighth. Um, my first two letters, um, B is $2, R is $18. So done. Yay. Okay. Back to the other stuff. Beauty is getting zero this month. So we'll set that aside. Taxes. Is getting ten dollars. And this is for tax preparation, which actually is kind of crazy because I'm getting ready to just get on Amazon while it's on sale and buy a TurboTax home and business because it's $65 instead of $99 right now. So that's my tip for you for today. Um, so I'll revisit my cash envelope on that later. Okay. 
Um, next envelope is car. The car is getting 25. This covers things like car registration and tags, um, car maintenance. I need a new windshield, so that will be coming out of this fund. This is one where in the... It's 21, 2, 3, 4, 5... In the bank account, 